Let's talk about Pokemon Horizons episode 26. Well, first off, I just wanted to apologize for my tardiness in discussing the past few episodes, but I had fun with this one. Even though it wasn't as thrilling or exciting as the previous few episodes, I thought it was a good episode to set the stage for the upcoming arc because it revealed more about Terrapagos' personality and showed some development between Liko and Sprigatito. I enjoyed seeing Terrapagos roam around as it investigated the ship and encountered many things for what we know could be the first time in decades or for the first time ever. Unless Terrapagos knows something we don't and Lucius is actually just lounging around in Rakua and he's like this immortal being or whatever, the poor guy doesn't seem to be aware that Lucius is most likely dead. Although there seems to be some connection between Liko and Lucius, Terrapagos ultimately surfaced because of Liko's intense compassion and curiosity in Pokemon. However, Diana comes across as a very sympathetic and caring person, therefore I am very intrigued as to why Terrapagos never revealed itself under her care. The rising Volt Tacklers now have a purpose beyond merely tracking Diana and trailing wherever Rayquaza travels. In order to deliver Terrapagos to Rakua, they are formally pursuing the Six Heroes. While the exact timing and knowledge of Cleavor's existence are a little hazy, this is the second time Hisui is addressed in the anime. It doesn't seem correct that Diana claims Lucius lived a century ago from today. If he reached that age, he might have been Diana's grandfather, or heck, maybe even her father. I wonder how long that has been the case in particular since it looks like there is a really clear picture of Cleavor, which appears to be the oldest as it is in black and white. Freed claims that Cleavor is a known Pokemon that originated in Hisui but hasn't been seen in decades. We'll have to wait and watch how Amethio's seemingly newfound character development plays out. The Rising Volt Tacklers have admitted that they have no leads on any of the other candidates. Therefore, they're going to keep chasing Rayquaza, who's confirmed to apparently still be in Galar, but I feel like in the upcoming episode, they're going to arrive too late and Rayquaza is going to be on to the next area that he decides to, you know, visit or whatever. As for who I think will be the next captures, or I guess the next six heroes that they'll encounter, I believe Cleavor or Lapras will be next. Now, I know Entei is also a possibility, but Galarian Moltres was just obtained, therefore, I don't think we need another legendary anytime soon. I hope that Entei, they just save that for last or something. In any case, this episode was a very relaxing, a very chill, laid-back episode. Oh, I forgot to mention, how could I forget? The new opening! The new opening is fantastic, and I enjoyed seeing the updated ending as well. But that's going to conclude today's video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys leave a like, uh, share this video with a friend, comment down below what you guys liked about this episode, what you guys didn't like about this episode. Let's start a discussion in the comments down below. Uh, subscribe if you guys are brand new. I upload new, typically I upload a new episode discussion every Mondays, or at least I try to. I've just been busy lately. Uh, but I also upload other types of Pokemon content as well. So if that interests any of you guys, be sure to, you know, hit that little subscribe button. Uh, follow my social medias. Links to those will be in the description down below. I love you all, and I will see you guys on the next video. Only good, chill army.